you know, friends, something occurs to me as I stare at, unfortunately, our many starving sheep. We put a lot of effort into adding these sheep into our lives, didn't we? And we are very happy to go ahead and count their many wonderfully adorable little fluffy selves. But it does occur to me, all of a sudden, that there happen to be a lot of sheep. And you know what there doesn't happen to be a lot of? The barley that they need. And the barley that we also need to have for our mill. Ergo, we are in a little bit of a pickle, we might say, but it, it becomes even worse when we remember, oh yes, hmm, starving sheep? Yeah, well, oh, oh that's right, we're shamanistic people. If a single animal dies, we become consumed with fear and grief that might just drive yet another one of our villages to, um, <clears throat> to some murderous rages, which has indeed happened before, but it has been a long time since we have had to even begin to think of the village of Uphill Both Ways. Instead, we are the village of Downhill One Way, and we are going to do our best to survive this unexpected development by setting the sheep free. <laughs> like seriously, like out you go little ones, bye bye Hopefully by going ahead and removing a few of you from being amongst our, our many, many uh, current occupants, we will be able to take care of ourselves. Because it occurred to me, instead of having to feed four pins full of sheep, here's an idea friends. What if we simply had two dairy farms that our farmers could rotate between? And okay, if I'm honest, I'm acknowledging that it soon will be time to get more farmers. I know that's gonna happen. I know that we're going to need to go ahead and, and expand our village. <laughs> 20 people may not be able to hold off the apocalypse on their own, but you know what? If they could, I'd be extremely impressed. Um, but, yeah, we do need to go ahead and release these sheep so they don't die, so that we don't go into murderous rages. And instead of having, you know, one farmer gather 12 of the milk, what if we have two farmers with two dairy farm uh, farms both gathering milk and we could only have six sheep? That way we might be able to keep our sheep fed and have enough left over to go ahead and actually use our barley, which would be quite delightful. Uh, so actually, I think I'll stop milling our flour for- oh wow, we've got a lot of flour. <laughs> yeah, we'll stop milling the flour for just a second and I will go ahead and have Blaze Quakes work on gathering up some of the carrots instead. And now that I'm thinking of it, I wonder if I should- mm, we haven't researched- uh, the bakery yet so there's no point in having her go ahead and put in a bakery but you know what maybe i should have her come over and plant some carrots all right there's clearly a lot to do <laughs> but hello everyone and welcome back and yes we did kind of just jump in with both feet to a very busy day but i'm confident that with a little bit more um this spit and polish we'll be able to really take care of our village and push our way through the next doom and not only will we push our way through the next doom with a lot of sass attached but we will push our way through the next doom and unlock the next of our memory beans which happens to be none less than another elder the captain and we can just guess what kind of new village we might begin to dream of after we finish completing all the pages of the prophecy in this village which we are totally going to do because we shall set the sheep free, enjoy having a ridiculous amount of milk, <laughs> and balance this out slowly but surely in the future. I'm sure everything's gonna be just fine. Um, ah, should I have, okay, we'll have the 12 milk and we'll have to risk a couple of the sheep getting a little hungry. Am I releasing, yeah, I'm releasing two things of sheep here. Actually, Finra Dragon? Mm, no, this would be a good one to, to go ahead and clear out because we could build the other cowl uh, farm right here. So, ooh, on oh, the large warehouse. I forgot about the large warehouse. Yes, we absolutely need to go ahead and we need to build this large warehouse too because that's really going to help us out with being able to store a lot of the good stuff. 
And that means that we're going to need to put in some stone paving. So I think everybody, now that Canis Abel is coming along to help, now has something to take care of. And we are even having our druids work on gathering some of the information from the rabbits about how to gain some more things that will give us some health essence. Because I'm pretty sure when the biggest apocalypse comes, it's probably going to be from sickness. Because that is the strongest of the domains. Though heat is kind of like... Like, calm down over there, Heat. It's really putting in the effort to try to, like, roast us, but we're not gonna let that happen, all right? Phew! Okay. Please tell me- oh, thank goodness. All right, releasing the sheep from the sheep pins did not automatically just make it so that, you know, suddenly we killed them or something. And that would have been devastating for so many reasons, but also because I'm pretty sure it would have driven half of our village mad. Phew! Okay. Meanwhile, we do need to go ahead and we need to have the final push against, and there we go, the final push against the heat doom that threatens to end our village. We are not going to let it happen. Instead, even though the doom event is coming tonight, we are going to defeat it by splashing plenty of water about. I have been telling everyone since the beginning, proper hydration will see us through. Hmm? Hmm? And did you all listen to me? You did, and that is why we are being so successful right now. Indeed. <laughs> but all right, my friends, so let's see. Um, oh man, that's only five. Boo, maybe there's, did a sheep just die? Please tell me a sheep didn't die. Cause only five, okay, hold up here. Did, did, did the animals die after just one day? I, but, I was, but, but, okay. <laughs> Emotionally, I don't know how to cope with that right now, but we'll deal with it eventually. <laughs> I, I, I thought that we'd have at least a couple days before the animals got that hungry. Oh, I'm sorry, little sheep. It is not something we meant to do. Darn. I wonder if that means we gained a whole bunch of fear or not. We'll have to keep an eye on that. <sighs> All right, well, let's upgrade this to have another bit of warehouse ready to go so we can collect even more oatmeal glop gloop. And speaking of the oatmeal glop gloop, I guess we could have our cook come over and start making more of that too. Hmm. Well, actually we'll lose some glop at the moment. Hmm. Wow. You know, this is pretty amazing. We have been doing a really, really good job. And you know what? Um, I guess we'll celebrate by gathering some of the plums of prophecy because we have so many of our villagers available to do just that. We could have them like gather some resources. Actually, I will have, change our tool production. Can I get, oh no, we need a smith. Oh my good word. Okay. <laughs> I thought our tool maker would be able to do this. Ah! So, okay. Hmm. This is going to be a little tricky because now we really have run out of pips who don't have professions, which means we actually are out of pips <laughs> who can do new jobs, which means we're going to need to think about expanding the village. But I hope that the rabbits will understand as we face down this, the final of the dooms to come upon our head, and that they will be able to see that we are merely needing to do what it takes to make our village strong enough to save the entire forest. I'm sorry, little bunnies of balance. Oh, here we go. Hello there, Elder. What do you want now, you stupid fire demon? I think that things are about to get a little more interesting. Wait for it. Yes, well, guess what? I won. Shoo! Shoo! That was a little closer than I care to admit, but I still won. Yes, and my memory beans! Now I've gone ahead and remembered somebody else who enjoys a lot of water. Captain O Captain. Ooh, what's this? Okay. Ah, <sighs> new boons. By defeating the Doom Prophecy, we received a boon from the Domain, and it was 
Fat children. Children grow twice as fast, but they eat three times as much. No sick days. Sips, sick pips can now work, but the malice is twice as strong. Or untested medicine. Dead pips do not generate sickness or fear, but hunger will kill them. You know, that is a little more interesting, Heat Domain. Thanks for the double-edged sword there. I see what that was all about now. Rude! <laughs> Let's go ahead and we'll get fat children so that we can make sure we feed them well and prove just how strong our entire village is. Which seems really fitting since we're also considering, you know, actually adding some new children to our village. <laughs> I love how that's Boone with a question mark. Well, what else do you expect from finicky fire demons who are in a bad mood because we've been busy splashing them with puddle water? And that was a good one. You darn trickster, what are you, uh, what are you doing? Calm down, Elder, it was not my doing. You really are grumpy. Hmm? All right, all right. Okay. We're on stage six of the apocalypse. Wait, why was there nine pages of the apocalypse instead of just eight? Um, we need to talk, Pips. What is it, Elder? I'm not sure, but there's something wrong with all of this. I swear I had nothing to do with it. Ha, <laughs> Nikki. Silence! There must be an explanation. Keep your eyes open. Aw, look at us all come together. All 20 of us. Who are about to become more. <laughs> I see. We have been cursed. An omen is coming for us. Something bad is going to happen. All right, here's the moment of truth. Will we be able to just kind of stay with very simple structures, very simple technology, and sort of wiggle our way to the end of the apocalypse? Or are we going to need to pivot and have a few sacrifices happen? All right, at least we have the herbalist hut, which we can't have anyone work at yet because we need an herbalist which needs both special tools and a pip available to go ahead and take that job but if you look carefully you can find the herbalist inside hidden somewhere behind all the potions and vases Aww. and i think they can give you infusions faster for about the same cost as the pharmacy tables but they do give you faster infusions now our faster infusions, what we are going to need in order to face down the threats that are hanging over our head. Let us see what this, none other than the sixth page of prophecy has for us. So, cataclysm. Aha, sickness, I knew you were not, I knew it, I knew it, you were coming for me. I knew it, spirits of rot. Let's see, heat, cataclysm, heat, sickness, fear, Whew, okay, and then there's going to be cataclysm again, sickness, cataclysm, and sickness. Oh, I just noticed that they line up after, oh, uh -huh. <laughs> I, I think it should have been obvious to me, but I just realized that, you know, they, the, the omens line up. Okay, all right, yep, and I knew it was going to be sickness. I knew it, and that means we do need to get more pips. That means we do, because the kinds of sicknesses that it could be might include being poisoned. And the only ones who would be able to cure our pips from being poisoned would be an herbalist. So we would need that specialized job in order to be able to save everyone. Homeopath booth, plus two of infusion makers within one. My jaw's a little on the ground because you can actually get some, <laughs> you could just take plain water and you could at least get two from it if it's next to an infusion maker. Or if you have infusion, you could get eight health from that. That's legitimately as strong as some of our, our Minder's cottages and huts. That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> oh, all right, well. That is the truth, my pips. If we are indeed going to save ourselves from the apocalypse, 
I think we are indeed going to need to expand. I have done my best to put it off for as long as I can. But let us go ahead and learn of the large tent. And then we shall have to have a ceremony of balance that will hopefully literally balance out uh, what we're going to have to do to those bunnies. <laughs> but first, let us uncover the newest of our memories with the captain. Oil extractor from some fishies that we've just gone ahead and hung up by their tails. <laughs> what on earth do we do with oil, though? Like, use it in cooking? Oil. We used to think that oil was only good for cooking. That is, until a barrel fell into the old stove. We have a new stove. Oh, probably for heat. That would be really good if you don't have trees. Oh, I would bet you that this captain happens to live in an area with very few trees then, and very little fresh water. Under the constant rain, some pips found that the abundance of fat fish could be used for more than just food. Excellent, excellent, okay. And then we've got, oh, a lantern! That's really cool! The vill a village full of lanterns would create a spectacle that could be seen from afar. However, we did not really like all the attention. Wait, what can give us the attention? Large lanterns? We placed these larger lanterns wherever possible as they provided both light and heat during the cold nights. Okay. Wherever the captain might happen to be is beginning to make me just a teensy bit nervous. But the Grog Apothecary? Grog was a panacea for most elements. It worked as long as you could not see the bones sticking out of the wound. Ah, ah, it also explodes. Okay, so that takes a brewer to go ahead and make, and it needs beer and um, medical herbs to make antidotes and to make medicine. Well, that's one way to numb the pain. The Grog Brewery. <laughs> to take the oil. Man, I'm beginning to be a little concerned that the captain would switch us from being like force loving, like literal hippies in a garden to being on an island with no trees is kind of the, the vibe I'm getting. A rain mill? Under the constant rain? Wait, rain? <gasps> Wait, are we gonna figure out weather? Oh my gosh. We've only had like breezes or, or like sometimes pips get stunned from the heat. I did, and snow occasionally, but like rain? We've never had rain. We don't even know what rain is. Under the constant rain, we designed the mill to use the power of the clouds for our ends. Okay, that sounds really cool. And it actually will take the barley and turn it into flour. Okay. A buoy? Most pips could swim, but they rarely did because they were afraid of what might be in the water. The buoys helped to show which zones were safe to cross. Oh my gosh. And then the oil, which you can use in the lanterns and the grog brewery. The captain! He was a seasoned man, unfazed and stern. I think I even, I think he saw even more ugly things than I did during his travels in the open sea. Wait a second. So you can get the island. This remote island is a barren land. Plenty of fish are found in the sea. You also get the seaside village. Dwellings built, built close to watery terrain have plus one space. The wet atmosphere. You start with a storm. Oh my gosh. You know wooden piers, the fishing post, and the buoy. You also have a little bit of wood, hard bread, plank. Oh my word. That sounds amazing. Captain! Oh, that's so cool! Uh, hopefully, we will be able to complete our quest to save the forest and to be able to work our way through the apocalypse here in our little shamanistic forest like village so that we can hear the tale of the captain in the future. And now, we will prepare ourselves for learning of the bard or the wild pip. Oh boy, I'm so excited about both of those things. Yay! Okay, that should be quite a bit of fun. We also are about to like kick the heat domain in the face again by splashing around in our pool. Good job, you two, good job. Uh, the sheep are no longer starving and it looks like we have not taken on any more pain from 
that poor sheep who did pass away, we will use more caution with raising our little milk machines in the future. And whew, we are going to want to start thinking about what we are going to do since we are going to need to get some leather for larger tents. That's that's going to need to be something that we face pretty soon, my friends. It's it's going to be there and we're going to want to be ready for it. All right. Thank you all so much for joining me on these adventures as we begin to venture slowly but surely into um, yeah, some early as food. Okay, look, if I'm going to have my sheep be able to eat enough of that that I can start getting some of their milk again, we got to have a talk over here, Blaze Quigs. <laughs> but thank you for joining me on these somewhat chaotic yet absolutely delightful adventures. And if you would like to join me on this and literally thousands more, well... There's no room in this village right now. Come back after we have a festival you should not ask questions about. And we sit in the garden and contemplate our sins for a little bit. And then we should have some room. It'll be nice and cozy. Fresh, fresh, cozy, rabbit blanket tents coming right up. Huh.